This short video has been developed to support housing managers in recording any overtime, additional hours or additional duties that are completed by a colleague on an estate other than the one that they are contracted to. When this takes place, it is referred to as visiting staff as the colleague is essentially visiting another estate to work. Prior to taking this action, you will need to know the payroll number of the team member you will be adding overtime or additional hours or duties for. Upon accessing My HR Manager's self-service, you'll be presented with the login screen. Enter your username, which will be your eight-digit payroll number. And then your unique password. Click Login to access the system. All managers in housing will have an additional screen display that asks them to select between the following two options extra hours visiting staff or people manager. The extra hours visiting staff should only be selected when the manager wants to add overtime for a colleague who has worked overtime on a state other than their contracted one. The people manager option should be selected for access to all other manager self-service functions. Select the extra hours visiting staff option and click log on. From the next screen, a list of menu options will be displayed, of which the second one down is links. Select links, then select extra hours. You will then need to select VS Legacy Hanover Visiting Staff from the menu options on the far left hand side of the screen. From the payroll drop down, you will need to select Anchor Hanover Group in the live system. The training system is set up slightly differently and hence why the Hanover pre-April 2019 option has been selected. The payment date and date earned fields will auto populate, although you may find you need to change these. You can change the payment date using the drop down and then select a different date earned using the calendar function. Enter the team member's payroll number into the employee payroll number field. Click the validate button to see the team member's name updated and their job role. This will enable you to check you have added the correct payroll number. You will now need to enter the number of hours of overtime worked in the field overtime single time enter hours. A numeric code will now need to be entered to identify the estate that these overtime hours need to be coded to. These codes will all need to have HAN entered as the final three digits. You will be able to find these codes on HNET in replacement of the existing expense coding guide, which is available as a useful link from the finance page. In addition, managers can also enter additional duties allowance and additional hours allowance on this screen in the same way when they have been undertaken on an estate that is different to their contracted estate location. You must remember to enter the relevant cost code for each payment you add. These should only be added on the system if they're being undertaken for a temporary period of less than three months. Any duties or hours in addition to their contracted ones that are being undertaken for a period of more than three months should be changed through HR by completing the relevant HNET forms. Further entries can be made for the same team member or a different one by scrolling across and clicking the plus button to add a record. If you are adding a payment for another team member, you will need to know their payroll number. A new blank line will appear for you to enter the relevant data. Once all relevant information has been entered, you will then need to click on the tick at the far right of the rows of data to validate each row. Then click on the save button. You have now successfully added overtime, additional duties and additional hours for a team member who has undertaken these at an estate different to their contracted one. To return to the home screen, click on the home icon at the bottom of the screen. To exit the system, click on the log off icon in the top right hand side of the screen.